welcome to you. My name's Dale and this is Dale's Addiction. Today I am bringing you my purple, lilac, lavender, violet, mauve handbag collection. I hope you enjoy. Firstly, I'm going to start with Gary because he's got this tiny little bit of mauve, lilac, purple, whatever. We're just going to call it lilac from now on around his neck. And it just, it, it is, it was one of the main reasons why he had to come and join my collection. One, because he's quirky. Two, because he's a bird. And three, because he fits my color scheme vibe. And we love him here. Now look, if you're looking for Gary, Gary was made, designed by J.W. Anderson, also the creative director for Le Weve, but for his actual label, J.W. Anderson. It's a 3D plastic painted pigeon with a very interesting opening with a magnetic closure. Fits a few lippies and some cards in. Doesn't really fit small leather goods, but doesn't have to because he is a statement. The next piece is my beautiful Fendi Peekaboo ICU in the small size. It's just starting to smile, which is super exciting. This is um, the bag that I sourced through you guys, through the collective efforts of my YouTube channel. This bag that did not come to Australia made it into my little hands into my collection and it is one of my absolute favorites in my collection it's called violet it has this beautiful kind of tortoiseshell looking hardware and the crossbar across the top uh, it's got a adjustable um, strap that i can wear crossbody or on the shoulder i do prefer to wear this bag top handle the small is a larger size in the peekaboo that i have but it's probably my favorite size to be honest because I love the fact that it has this movement in it. The ICU is relatively new from Fendi. It has four feet. It, uh, it, um, what am I trying to say? It has two main compartments. I like to have the rear compartment closed so it sits nice and flat against my body and I like to encourage this to happen with the front compartment. And then inside, you can see it has two slip pockets there. They come with raincoats. They're just fabulous bags. I don't get to wear it enough, but it's a treasured, treasured part of my collection. You just saw the violet peekaboo. Well, this is the nano peekaboo. This one I picked up from Cruise last year and Fendi do these nanos from time to time and they are so cute. This one I was influenced to buy by one of my subscribers and now friends, Katrina, who had a little white one of these at my meetup that Fendi hosted for me last year. And ever since seeing hers, it was a white one, I really was interested in trying to find the perfect one for me. And sure enough, last November, Cruise provided a whole bunch of beautiful pieces and this little Nano Peekaboo was one of them. So Fendi do these Nanos. Um, this one here, it has like a little um, hook and you can use it as a charm on things. I don't know why you would. Sometimes they style them in boutique on top of other um, pieces, but I mean, realistically, it's a nice little gadget to have. I'm just going to close that back up. So the front actually has a turn lock. It's actually quite large. It fits everything that you need except your phone. The back has a turn lock, but it's a pretend one because it has a snap closure. So I like these ones for like little dinners where you know that you're going to have your phone with you most of the time because you're taking pictures and what have you. And it's just a cute... Um, little accessory the strap that comes with it is adjustable it will go on the shoulder or crossbody which gives it a really unique look to your outfit and as i said they're kind of cute to layer up with so if you do want to do any double bag moments do i have do i have a picture of this double bag i'm not sure if i do i'll put any instagram pictures i have styling these bags up but um yeah, it, the colour is not violet. I think it was actually just called purple. Um, and yeah, it's um, definitely, definitely a favourite of mine. Number four, the Fendi, the Fendi baguette. The one that started all the craziness in my collection. I picked this one up back in 2020 for my 40th birthday. Well, in lieu of the 40th birthday I had planned because of the dreaded pandemic. 
and uh, even though I was looking to go to New York City and you know have my ultimate sex in the city dream life I had to settle for the sex in the city bag and it was just a lovely surprise to see this in my local boutique that it was available that it was perfect and beautiful and after a little bit of soul searching I uh, I bought it and I spent the most money I'd ever spent on a luxury handbag which at the time I think was six thousand one hundred dollars and no regrets this bag um, nostalgic purposes love it um, love styling it fits perfectly in my wardrobe always gives you a little you know excitement when you wear it out and about I've got it stuffed at the moment but typically I like it to be more um, or less structured I should say so inside it has this beautiful gold interior and uh, when you take the organizer out of it which I just keep in it for storage purposes it's giving Carrie Bradshaw vibes and um, even though Carrie was rather neurotic and selfish her style was still inspiring to me and the show and the stories about women's friendships very much so and yeah hence I love this piece. Now these are supposed to be exclusive, but they're not. So if you have a chance to pre-order one and you love it, get it. For those of us who bought them on the fake promise that they were exclusive and it was a one-time only re-release, we're a little bit dirty about that, but it's not on you. If you want it and you want to own it, that's fantastic. And I think everybody who wants to own it should it just makes me cranky that I was lured into the exclusiveness of something that is obviously not exclusive because it comes up for pre-order all the time. There's a bit of a Fendi theme going on here, right? This next one is the 25th re-edition of the baguette, Mirror Baguette. And it fits into the purple category because of all of this beautiful mauve lilac beading and embroidery around the outside of the mirrors. I picked this bag up last November um, and it was one of two that came to the country initially but then a whole bunch more did so again I got tricked into the exclusivity of this piece but I love it um, I just had to have it I love the fact that it harps back to some of the original baguettes from back in 1999 um, it has this water snake detail on it which gives it a bit of an edge um, to an otherwise really pretty beautiful bag and again this one has a lovely interior which i will show you it has the back of the leather flap this beautiful suede and then inside it's a gorgeous silk green and yeah python it's very very special very luxurious um, piece and certainly doesn't get near as much wear as it should but Again, it's a treasured piece in my collection. Recently in London, I was able to find this Fendi Fox in Fendi First in Fox um, in this kind of ombre purple color. This was over a year old in terms of release and they had one in London in the warehouse and I was super glad to be able to find it. It's the small sized Fendi First and these are made of recycled kind of scraps. Um, so it is a part of the sustainability initiative and if you want to know more about Fendi's sustainability, particularly when it comes to sourcing and um, working with exotics, um, definitely go check out their website. It's very, very comprehensive. The Fendi First, if you're not familiar, has this little button on top. It can be worn as a clutch, but it also has a fully adjustable and removable strap which is attached by these two little moving um, eyelets that um, mean that you can carry the bag as a clutch and it looks like a clutch or you can carry it as a shoulder carry or as a crossbody like I did in Paris and it doesn't detract from the look of the bag when you're not using it. So yeah, it's a super special piece in my collection. Very glad that I was able to save this one from the stockroom. The penultimate purple bag in my collection is this little Fendi mini baguette in lilac sequins. Again from last November, the cruise collection. Just a gorgeous looking bag and again with a really interesting interior. Now all of these beautiful bags, I've really only just realized, have this great contrasting interior. This one has like a Tiffany blue silk interior, which is really quite pretty because usually the Napa leather mini baguettes just have a black cotton or textile interior. This, this color of sequin 
really attracted me and it's probably my favourite over the Sex and the City one. Um, I prefer this kind of colour more so. Um, tends to fit more in my wardrobe but I love them both for different reasons. The workmanship on these tiny little bags is absolutely beautiful and yes they are susceptible to having you know damage and things popping off but Fendi's after sale service I have found has been fantastic and you know if it's not you just get loud. And finally the absolute diamond in my purple handbag collection has got to be this beauty. This is my Louis Vuitton Petite Mal in Ostrich in Lilac that I picked up in Rome on my recent trip and was pre-ordered and paid for before I even left Australia. Um, thanks to, again, subscribers saying, hey, I've just seen the perfect petite mail for you, and friends who were in Rome and able to secure this purchase for me because I couldn't do it from here in Australia. I was able to get this, and I've been waiting for a petite mail for so, so long. This color is just exquisite. The light gold hardware is a beautiful contrast. It has the S-lock um, closure. And basically, it's just a box. It's just a box. It comes with a thick um, strap that is not adjustable, I don't think. Let me grab it. So the strap is not adjustable, and a lot of people didn't like the thick strap. I actually really love it for this bag. I think it works beautifully together as a great combination, and I am so grateful for the fact that I was able to pick this one up and not to mention to get a nice VAT refund um, because it was purchased in Italy on holiday. So there you have it. That is my purple handbag collection. To those of you who requested this one, yes, I think the pink bags are pretty much even Stevens in terms of the number of them. Let's just do a quick recap. It's seven and seven crazy okay i've got just as many purple bags as i do pink bags but oh my goodness i nearly forgot one eight 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 lilac bags my beautiful lilac mini baguette um from 2020 and i can't but this like i was wearing it yesterday that's why i missed it goodness me so i picked this one up and i was late to the party my sales associate at fendi who i just met i'd bought the purple sparkly baguette from i said i really really want something in that beautiful lilac and she chased one down for me in thailand of all places and had it sent to me and i'm so glad she did it's such a little cutie and this is what i was talking about with the sequins is that these ones here they just have a cotton interior which is actually you know um, it's no problem because they're they're more light and malleable I think with the cotton interior but in any case I cannot believe I forgot this one I love it and it puts the purple bags squarely ahead of the pink oh my goodness I was just looking for little mod shots of these bags and I remembered this beautiful Fendi nano baguette that I received last year as my birthday gift from Meredith Goodness gracious, what a little beauty this thing is. It's in that gorgeous lilac, and inside it's also lined with that gorgeous Tiffany blue silk lining. It has a chain strap, and um, it's just stunning. Look at it in this light. It's, how could I forget it? It was tucked away in a safe place with my SLGs, so. I forgot that, and I also forgot this one from my pink handbag collection which luckily keeps them even Stevens. This is the Fendi First in Raspberry. And this one was gifted to me from Fendi um, at my event last year. And again, it was kept in a safe place. Little cute Fendi First Nano. Um, and I missed it from my pink handbag collection. So these two even each other out, but it's a tight, tight race. Well, let me know which of my bags is your favorite in my purple handbag collection and why. Um, obviously, there's a lot of Fendi, I know, but, you know, they just float my boat in terms of their design and their colors. So you can't blame me, right? But um, this is going to be my favorite at the moment. What's yours? If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I would love to see you back here for the next one, typically on a Wednesday or a Sunday. Until then, ciao.